Hi, my name is Gabriela from Tulip Art Designs and in today's video I want to show you the most important supplies that you need when you start watercolor sketching. So if you are ready, let's get started. So today I want to show you the most important supplies um, so you know you don't invest too much money on buying hundreds of things something that I actually did <laughs> because apparently I just like having a lot of art supplies anyway so apparently the first thing you need is watercolor paint and watercolor paints they come in three different um, shapes so you wait and this is not really in my frame okay so you have the tubes you have liquids and you have the pan so for beginners I really recommend starting with a pan you have different sizes so this one is just 12 colors absolutely enough to start up with it will also challenge you to learn how to mix your own colors the problem sorry the problem with this is that sometimes you you know you like some of the colors and then they just end faster than others and some brands they just don't offer buying single pans um, but that's okay for a beginner I would say this is a great start then the liquid um, I didn't use them so much these are very nice and very good quality they are very concentrated and because i want to draw on top of my watercolors i found it a bit hard to control the um, value of the color but this is not the case uh, when you practice a bit more and use the same supply for longer than you will get used to it so if you like um, using the liquids that's absolutely fine I, uh, in my tutorials I am not using them um, but let me know if you want to see me painting with such watercolor and then what I really recommend is getting the tubes why? Um, first of all the first investment will be probably a bit bigger um, but they will long for they will stay for longer time which means that you will invest just one time and you will probably use this for for years like I said this palette a uh, half year ago I have a video so I will link it below and you can see that this tube is almost full so this is for half a year and I still have paint on my palette how this work is that I set my palette and I let it dry for 24 hours and then I reactivate it and paint um, it's okay to use watercolor directly from the tube um, I don't really do this because it tends to you know it, you just use more paint than you need um, so in this case yeah you will probably finish these paints way faster um, but also your painting will be more vibrant which means uh, that it can work almost like gouache so that's why I recommend to set a palette wait for it to dry for at least 24 hours and then reactivate with extra water and use it the second thing that you definitely need when it comes to watercolor sketching is watercolor paper you have lots of options lots um, and good watercolor paper can cost also a bit more money um, when you are starting with watercolor you probably need 
a cheaper version I wouldn't go for you know the cheapest one I definitely have a sketchbook this is one of my favorites from Etcher Lab it comes in different shapes and different sizes you can also get um, the pad like this one is postcard so it's very easy for me to use when I want to make postcard and it also has all the needed stuff in the back sorry <laughs> like this um, you can also get a box full of you know made postcards that you just get out and start painting and just a lot so this is my favorite watercolor paper and it's a bit uh, more expensive it's a professional watercolor paper you can definitely get a cheaper one from amazon i really like the cold pressed um because of the texture that it has i don't know if you are able to see it here maybe not but uh, i have a video where i am comparing coat to hot press paper so maybe this can um, help you choose which one you like what i did i really bought two types of watercolor paper and i tried them by, by myself tip is to not compromise your watercolor paper of course you can start with anything even your kit supplies the thing is that if you want at some point to bring your skills on another level you will probably also need a bit more professional supplies the third thing that you need is brushes and you need watercolor brushes um, you can definitely use something cheaper as I said especially if you just want to try it out um, if you can go to an art store and just check your brushes so I can say that your brush needs to have a very nice tip that's pointed like this um, and that the bristles will not be very hard but they will be a bit more soft so you you know you will be able to work with the brush um, and then for a beginner I really recommend having the round brush which means that uh, sorry which means that here you will have a round shape and then all the brass bristles will be pointed to a point like this and then I recommend getting a few different sizes so in my case I usually have 12 10 and 6 um, I really like Princeton um, but you don't really have to stick to this brand uh, the first set that I bought was uh, the snap collection and they have like a nice set on Amazon I will link it below and they have different sizes 6 10 um, and uh, yeah the round brush is absolutely enough when you are starting with watercolor sketching or thing that you cannot really do watercolor sketching without is water you just need water to reactivate your paints and to just paint because it's watercolor so that's extremely important you definitely need this one to do any watercolor sketch the fifth supply that I use every single time when I sit to paint is paper towel it helps you clean your brush it helps you fix mistakes it helps you clean your paper it helps you pick up the access water it helps you for so many things so this is like a main supply that you need when uh, starting and doing watercolor sketching um, you can get a reusable towel um, something that can help you do 
all the things I just said. Fly that you really need when it comes to sketching because it is watercolor sketching and it's a technique that combines painting and drawing. It's the pen. So I use a drawing pen that's also waterproofed, which means that it doesn't really matter which comes first, the ink or the paint, doesn't matter. It's, you just start and if you want to add watercolor on top of these lines that are made with this pen, then your ink will not bleed in the paint. In the paint. <laughs> And a very good addition to this is white and I have jelly roll pen. It really helps me to finish my sketch, add some small detail lines or bring back the light that I just messed up while sketching with the watercolor. So these are my favorite um, ones. You have different options, um, but if you get these two as a beginner, that's absolutely enough to start with uh, watercolor sketching. A supply that I would also recommend you to get is a pencil and an eraser. This uh, sometimes can help us figure out how we want to put, you know, the things on the page. It all depends. Um, want to paint because sometimes we just want to start loose and maybe we just don't want to really sketch with the pencil but create a illustration, an illustration or a nice sketch maybe pencil and eraser will help you get the result you like the supplies you need you don't have to buy 20, 50, 100 um, supplies from you know a list that you found somewhere on Instagram or you know someone just shared his own uh, supplies just keep it simple get these six things that I just showed you um, and if you still find it hard just comment below the video so I can help you out this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing for my channel. Thumbs up because that's always help me to grow here on YouTube and for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!